Fran Drescher and a garbage disposal voice I have going on. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the only one platform to help build your brand and grow your business online. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Oh you guys, it's been, it's been rough. You guys might have noticed that I haven't posted an advent calendar unboxing in a little while and uh, that is because uh, I bet you can guess, which isn't fantastic because we're only through like 13 boxes and we still have like 20 to go. Actually, I haven't even counted. I have no idea how many we have left. It could be more, it could be less. It's probably more. But if you guys can't tell from, you know, what you're experiencing right here in front of you, um, I ended up getting pretty darn sick for a little while and I think, I think I'm still sick. So what happened was um, I went to a lovely family Christmas gathering with all of my family members. There's like 30 of us there. It was wonderful. We haven't been able to do it in years but unfortunately uh, when we all got home we had this little like group chat thing and people started saying hey uh, did anybody else happen to get like an incredibly intense stomach virus? And I was like oh it wasn't just me. So yeah this started out as a super intense Intense, very violent uh, stomach virus and then it kind of worked its way up so like it went into my lungs and now it's like all up here so I'm real nice and nasally so I just wanted to give it like an honest try today to see if I could get any more videos up before Christmas I understand though if you just can't listen to me talk is what I'm hearing right now it's quite grating but I'm gonna give it my best good today and we are going to be unboxing the Huda Beauty advent calendar for 2022 we have done at least like two of these right like the past two years maybe even three years we've been unboxing Huda Booty Advent Calendars. <laughs> Let me get you guys the deets real quick on this advent calendar. I'll see how much I pay for it and see how much that's worth. $175. Wow. Oh, exciting. Okay, so it doesn't give me a value for the calendar, but it does say you save 38%. So that's I'm sure that's wonderful. It has a four out of five star review with six whole reviews on the website. So I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get on into it. Oh, it tells you all the things on the back. Who? Why would you do that? Okay, well, this is what it looks like this year. It matches my sweater. Uh, typically, it's in the shape of lips, you know, just like... I feel like it's always in the shape of lips. I don't know why this year they decided to mix it up a little bit, but like it has, I'm just gonna close my eyes back here and just hopefully it's in focus. It has like a QR code looking pattern on the front. I don't know what that's about. Or is that supposed to be like Minecraft? What is that? I don't know why it looks like that on the front. So we're gonna have Huda Beauty, KLE, and Wishful products in here. All I think are owned by Huda. Little opener, little door, little handle. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a sticker. There's a sticker. All right, so let's take a peek in here and see what it looks like. Okay, very, you know, non-holiday looking, but you know, none of her like lip ones were really either. Most pretty good. I might try to go through this one a little bit more quickly today. So it, our video is a bit shorter and you don't have to endure as much of this like Fran Drescher and a garbage disposal voice I have going on. Also, day number one is right here. It's the largest box in the entire calendar. This is a 12 day calendar, by the way. I almost feel like I want to like count down to day number one. We never do it that way. Should we do it that way? Mix it up a little bit? Let's do it. Okay, we're going to start with day number 12 just because why not? Although this does feel pretty like nice and hefty. We have a tube. Yo Glow Enzyme scrub from Wishful. It looks like this might be a full size, which is nice. I like the, the packaging on Wishful stuff just because the letters are shiny. You can get me with something shiny. I'm like a crow. Um, it gives me almost no information. It just says pineapple enzyme, papaya enzyme, AHA, BHA. That's it. So I'm guessing you scrub your face with it and it gets rid of like the dead skin and stuff. I'm dizzy. <laughs> I still somehow have a little bit of a sense of smell. Smells enzyme -y. 11 comes before 12. Day number 11. They have little QR codes on them. I wonder what that does. Oh my gosh, I'm just now editing this and I realized that there's QR codes on the boxes, there's QR codes on the outer box. I don't know if her theme was QR code this year, but that has to be a connection. Oh, would you look at that? It takes you to the product right on the site. That's smart thinking, Huda. So instead of having to have like all the information on the packaging and stuff, it takes you straight to the website. $39 for this tube? I I feel like that's a lot of money. Yeah, so you do rub this on your face, but I think that's really cool that they have the QR codes on the box because a lot of these advent calendars will get the product and there's zero information. Because a lot of them don't come with their outside packaging. That standardly gives you like the information. <laughs> do I think it's absolutely mind boggling that I can open up my camera and just hold it over a QR code and it takes me to a website? Yeah, choking on a piece of throat lozenge. Okay, moving on here, next up to day number 11. I really need that to get out of my throat. Oh, okay, this feels interesting. 
interestingly shaped. Oh, okay, so the next one you have in here is a mascara. I'm assuming this is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. It has such an interestingly shaped tube. It's like a triangular diamond or just a diamond. Yeah, I think that's just the shape of a diamond. It looks like it is dual ended. This side we have, oh, volume and then curl and length. It's got the cute, I don't, there's no way you guys are gonna be able to see this. A little mascara bloop has the cutest little Dairy Queen ice cream swirl on the top. So this is supposed to be the volumizing side. It is interestingly shaped. It kind of like does one of these numbers, like a rocket ship. It smells the same as every other mascara. It does have a very spiky wand, and spiky wands aren't really my favorite, but that's okay. Let's see what the curl and length looks like. Oh, that's a very bent banana. Again, not exactly my favorite type of applicator, but you know, it, it's interesting looking. Are there little hairs in there? This one might be a fiber mascara because there's a lot of little hairs in there. If it's not a fiber mascara, I might be concerned due to the amount of hairs. That is a $29 mascara and you do technically get like two mascaras in one, but I wonder how much, like, is it a full size type mascara on either end or is it like half a size of mascara to be one mascara? You know what I mean? Oh, it says it right there, featuring two full size mascaras. So that's not really that bad of a deal. Well, maybe those are really good. I give this a try. Before I move on, I would love to tell you guys today's sponsor is Squarespace. I have been working with and using Squarespace Squarespace for over a year now and they, they truly are amazing. They have been wonderful to work with and they've been wonderful to use as a business owner. Squarespace has been so helpful with establishing a website for my store and now that my business is expanding and we're opening up another store, Squarespace is going to be absolutely necessary. Squarespace can help anyone build their brand and grow their business online. Whether you're a business owner who wants to start selling online, an artist who wants to show off their craft, or a blogger who strives to inspire people, Squarespace has something for everyone. They offer customizable galleries where you can display images and videos videos in unique ways, blogging and commenting features that allow you to create a community on your Squarespace site, and their system also supports threaded comments, replies, and likes, along with the capability to categorize, share, and schedule your posts. Plus, Squarespace keeps you fully connected to all of your social medias by displaying posts from your social profiles directly on your website so your followers can see it and share it too. So whatever it is that you're passionate about, Squarespace has all the tools you need to build a brand, grow your business, and pursue your passion. So head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com, so to Ryan for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Again, just thank you so very much to Squarespace for your continued support of the channel. I didn't tell you guys what we were doing. But day number 10. Alrighty, next up here we have a Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Liquid Lipstick. The shade right off the bat does look a little bit too pinky for me, to be fully honest, but uh, we might give it a tiny bit of a swatch. This is in the shade Bombshell, and we'll see what it looks like just on the applicator itself. Ooh, smells oh, pretty good. It smells kind of like minty, lemon, lemony, minty vanilla-y. Uh, okay, so the color itself I actually do think is really pretty. Um, it's a little bit more muted than I anticipated, which is good. I feel, however, like it could read kind of strange on me like it could almost go kind of terracotta -y. I don't know. Should I just go ahead and try it on? But then I don't want to contaminate it and I would definitely contaminate it right now. Maybe I could just like push some of it on. That kind of works. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Even with just that little bit getting onto my lips, it does seem like it might be a bit too pink, almost leaning kind of terracotta-ish for some reason. So I personally don't know if that would be my favorite color, but I did really like the color in the swatch itself. And this is a $21 lip color. It says it's supposed to be new, but personally, I think that is very pink. It shows up very, very pink on my lips. Day number nine is up next year. We have a box inside of a box. I'm like, yep, this is from Wishful. We have the Wishful Honey Whip. This is a peptide moisturizer which I don't, I don't honestly know what a peptide is, but it, it, it's in here. Again, nice and shiny, always like that. Oh, I drank a big like hot jug of Theraflu before I started this video and I think it's making me whoopsie. You get 0.7 ounces in here and it looks like I mean, I guess this is 0.7 ounces. I don't know. But it looks like the machine just had like a air bubble in it and it just went like and just kind of pushed out all the actual product and replaced it with air. There's like a cavern in there. This is the mini size of the peptide moisturizer, which is $19. Day number eight feels empty. We have a little stick up here next. All right, so the next thing we have in here is an eyeliner. This is the Life Liner Quick and Easy. It says it's in the shade Very Vanta, which I don't know if that's gonna be something besides black. It'd be kind of cool if it was. I mean, I highly doubt it because most of the time eyeliners that come in anything that we get are just black, but we'll see. I can't tell if it's not supposed to be a black or it's just a bad black, I don't know. Okay, so here it is with a couple of coats on top of it. At first, I like swept it on and I was like, maybe it's supposed to be like muted brown green. It wasn't super pigmented. Here, I'll just do one swipe. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell a difference, but like this side definitely isn't as pigmented as the layered one over here. I can't tell that it is supposed to be black. Maybe it is just black and I have really bad lighting. It could, it could be that. 
I have no idea. Maybe when I do the little scanny thing, it'll show me on the website. Oh, it's supposed to be black. Okay. It's supposed to be black. Um, I couldn't really tell, honestly, at first. It's definitely not like the most black black I've ever seen in a liquid liner. Uh, but it's $19. That's the price of it. It does seem very, like, non-smudgy, which is good. Maybe wouldn't be my first choice if I was going for, like, a super deep, intense black liner. But, you know, it, I mean, it's on there. It lined. Maybe I needed to shake it more. Oh, okay. A couple little more shakes. Well, now we're having another problem. So a couple more shakes definitely made it come up more black and intense, but now it's bleeding into like the little lines in my hand. So like we kind of exchanged one problem for another. I don't know, this is interesting. Let me know if you ever tried this eyeliner before and you ended up liking it. Moving on here to day number seven. Man, you guys, I'm so sorry about my voice. This is <laughs> this is really hard, I'm so sorry. You got a little squeezy nub in there somewhere. Oh, we do in fact just have a tiny little squeezy nub. How cute. Eh, rose. <laughs> My disgruntled noises sound even more disgruntled this way. The next thing we have in here is the Wishful Get Even Rose Oil. Everything's gotta be rose. I don't know why, but everything's gotta have rose in it. Let's see how intensely this smells of rose. What is that? It burns the inside. <laughs> I don't really smell rose. It just like burns the inside. Like it almost feels like it's opening up my nose and making it cold while burning it. What is that? What is that? That's unlike anything I've ever smelled before. How unique. I really truly don't know what the smell is. It's more like an experience. You know, like all the commercials, the, the five gum commercials, like the experience of chewing five gum. Which sounded so creepy. Oh my gosh, that sounded so creepy. Any hoozle, uh, this is $25 for this little tiny bottle of experience. Day number six. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this out, you guys. Alrighty, we have another cylindrical thing. Oh, it's a perfume. Pretty. It's like dual ended. Hey, I can make lightsaber noises. So it looks like we have two different perfumes here from KLD. We have a vanilla and we also have a musk. Which I asked the question of like, where does musk come from in another advent calendar? And uh, I got the answer. And it's not great. Not gonna lie, it looks like this one's been chilling for a little while. <laughs> Can you guys see that? It looks like old perfume that's been hanging out. Uh, well, hello there. Um, it has actually been many hours since you have last seen me in that last clip. I heaven only knows what we were talking about. It was filmed so many hours ago that it's given me a chance to hack up part of my lung and I think I can talk better now. Oh, I think this is what we're talking about. I think we're talking about this right here. Okay, day number whatever this perfume thingy is. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so like the end of this side is very brown and I don't know why it's that brown um I feel like okay this is kind of like purpley colored so I understand that there could be some coloration to the actual liquid but it looks like an Avon bottle that's been sitting for like way too long like one of the ones in the shape of like a lady that your grandma had from the 70s um that's kind of the look that this has given me a little bit the scent too no no it's not giving the same Avon scent nothing gives that same like concentrated thick syrupy Avon scent does anybody know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Or am I just on like a Mucinex rant? Anywho, uh, my big issue with that was I also kind of see the same browning happening over here on the clear one. This one's much harder to see, but like right around the edge there, you can tell that like it's getting kind of brown. Also again, a little bit on the cap. So I'm wondering how long these have been sitting. Let's give the musk a little sniff over here. I don't know how good my sniffer is going to be working. It smells okay. It smells fine. It smells, I guess that's what musk smells like. I don't know. It's really, I say this all the time, but like it's giving me hotel. Like it's giving me hotel lobby that you know has a pool attached to it. Like a mixture of the front desk lady workers perfume, but like the cleaning ladies cleaning supplies, but like not almost in a bad way. Just makes me want to go to Florida. I don't know. I don't mind it. <laughs> the next up here, let's try the vanilla. I feel like I'm going to like this one. Maybe that, is that just the color of the perfume? I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that, but there's a little bit of brown liquid on my arm. That might just be pure vanilla extract in a bottle. I don't know. <laughs> it just smells like vanilla extract, which I've heard is actually like a great hack if you just put pure vanilla extract like you know right right there instead of perfume you'll smell like cookies you'll have like the best vanilla smell ever because you're using literal vanilla yeah i mean that smells really good i do really like heavily vanilla scented things so um you know not bad i am a little bit concerned still about like the brownishness of it so it might have been sitting around for a while but it still smells pretty good and number five is up next here oh i didn't tell you guys how much that cost oh no <laughs> I think I better just spoil day number five for myself. I was like, how much does it cost? This is, it's a different box. It's a different day. Therefore, a different product. I don't even know what box this came in. $25. Okay, so the little dual ended rollerball here is 25 bucks. Is somebody keeping count? I'm not. <laughs> Probably have to do that at the end. Okay, day number five. We're gonna act like we didn't already see what it was on the website. And maybe we didn't, because this is not what it was showing me on the website. I thought that was gonna be a satisfying roll. 
still not. Oh, okay, so next up here, we actually have a brush. That's pretty fun. This one looks interesting. I'm assuming this is some type of foundation brush. I typically don't put on my brush with a foundation. I would say you don't typically put on your brush with a foundation. This fever will break eventually. Will it make me any smarter? I don't know. <laughs> For now, I can use it as an excuse. Anywho, this looks like a nice little brush. Um, it's kind of interestingly shaped. It's kind of like, ooh, like slanted like that, but rounded as well. I like the little clear handle it has on it and the little kind of zigzaggy looking bristles. I don't know, I think they're kind of cute. So yeah, brush. Seems very soft. Look a little kitten paw. Mills different. Okay, so that came out of this box, right? What day are we on? This came out of this box, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this isn't a foundation brush like I thought it was. And this is why I thought it was a little confusing because because this is what came up when I did the QR code. So you would think we'd be getting one of these little blush sticks, but no, it's the brush specifically for just this product. It says it is a cheeky tint blush stick brush, like for nothing else, just the blush. So I'm assuming there is gonna be a blush in there or else this is obviously useless because this of course is intended for just one very particular blush, but it also costs $25. That's so much money. Day number four is up next here. Let's see what we got. Oh, what a surprise. Okay, so I think, yeah, I did probably ruin my surprise just a little bit. Uh, but the next thing we have in here, I do believe, is a cheeky tint blush stick. Cheeky tint blush stick in just the most bright, vibrant salmon shade I've ever seen. That is such a shade of coral. Coral. That's like such an old meme from The Walking Dead like 10 years ago. And like my brain still just lives, I guess, 10 years ago. <laughs> Um, okay. That is an incredibly intense bright shade of blush. I personally don't know if I get like a ton of use out of this shade. I'm assuming since it's a blush tint that it's not going to be like a ton of color on your face, but I still think it might just be a little bit too vibrant pink for me. However, I do think it could look beautiful on a lot of skin tones, like a really deep skin tone or even like a really light fair skin tone. I just personally don't know if it would be like my go-to. Oh, this is in the shade Coral Beauty, so I, I, I was correct. These little guys are also $25, so if you want to get one of these and one of these, you're looking at 50 bucks for just this. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Moving on here to day number three, which feels in can you hear the silence? The sound of silence? Whisper the sound of silence. That's what they're talking about. This feels almost empty. I would think it was empty with the exception of I can see a ton of little sneak peek of something there and I'm gonna assume it's a sheet mask. Getting a little bit concerned here. I'm really hoping that uh, day number one, leaving it for last, is gonna pay off for us in the end because so far I feel like this might not be your best advent calendar. Oh, what do we know? We got a sheet mask. That's not even a sheet mask. We just got little eye masks. These are the eye lift and contour again with the peptides, double peptide, little eye mask things, again from Wishful. It says instant results in just 20 minutes. That's pretty fun. What the results are supposed to be, I do not know. Oh, snatches. <laughs> it's supposed to snatch, whatever your definition of that is. A deep puff, brighten, and awaken appearance. So um, underneath this many layers of makeup I have on right now, uh, that I've been through some things today. I would say they're fairly unawake at the moment. So this is probably something I do need. However, maybe not, you know, the most exciting thing to get for a full day in a $170 wrapping calendar. Okay, day number two is up next. Feeling a little bit on the heavy side. All right, we have a square tube. Oh, okay. Well, I feel like this has been a really big go-to this year is just like a plain clear lip gloss. Like, you know, I guess it is easy to put in an advent calendar. It's very inclusive. Everybody can wear it. It's just, again, maybe not super exciting. It's called water jelly, which I kind of like that. I do kind of like that name and that is enticing to me a little bit. I also like that it's not a doe foot, but it's like this weird clear little spatula. That also is kind of enticing to me. Oh, it's a primer. So it's not even like just a, like a lip gloss. It's, it's something you put on before you put on something. Are you supposed to put this like underneath the liquid lip or something? Well, that makes me like it a little bit less because this is actually like a step in a process instead of like, you know, a thing on its own. Face primer? This goes on your face? Well, first of all, I'm about to slap this all over my lips. I was about to be like, it's a good thing I was already like, mm, I already have too many lip glosses because this is about to go all over my mouth. There is no indication on here besides the fact that it says primer, but I didn't understand that it was for your face. Does this not look like lip gloss? This is the size of a lip gloss. It looks exactly like a lip gloss. Well, daggummit it. Okay, I do believe this is probably the mini of it. The mini is $13 and it goes on your face. So a face primer, uh, potentially even less exciting. <laughs> Why is this so lightweight? Why is day number one so lightweight? Maybe we did this in reverse. Maybe we did this wrong, but even, I mean, day number 12 was just a thing of like cleanser. Hold up, 
every year that I have done this advent calendar, there has been an eyeshadow palette inside the advent calendar. I think typically like the last day or something, which makes sense to me. That feels like I'm getting some value. You know, it's something kind of special, some actual like pigmented makeup. But I feel like this box here is both too light and too small to have any of your eyeshadow palettes in it. If I pick this up and there's just like a sheet mask or something in it, I might be a little bit sad. Okay, it's, it has to be heavier than a sheet mask, right? Like this is heavier than a sheet mask. Something's wiggling in there. All right, it doesn't sound empty. What is that? A moisturizing wand. What's a moisturizing wand? Just a small little brush. What is it? How does it moisturize you? You put moisturizer on with the brush? Because this just looks like a regular brush to me and I feel like I could put moisturizer on with any old regular brush. Matter of fact, I feel like I could put moisturizer on with this brush and not use it exclusively just for that cheek stick because we already have another brush inside of this effing calendar. So I don't really understand why, like why are we getting two brushes inside of here? And what do you mean by moisturizing wand? So on the back here, it has this very useful diagram. It has the brush plus this like wishful honey balm. Did we get that or is it a moisturizer? I feel like it was a moisturizer. So I'm assuming they're saying that you're supposed to use it with this balm, which which didn't even come in the oven calendar. <laughs> it didn't come in the oven calendar. So now you just have yourself a moisturizing wand without like the, the product that it's supposed to be used with. Some may call this just like, you know, a brush. Some may call it that. Uh, not everybody apparently. I would have liked to have seen it come with the product that it recommends using it with on the back if it does have some type of special purpose. Right? We didn't get that, did we? Yeah, this is a honey whip. That's different. Well, you guys, uh, that, that was everything in the advent calendar. I want to give you guys just like a little glimpse of everything kind of all together so we can see what my $175 bought me. Um, apparently this is a value though. It is a value of 38%. Okay. So here's a little peek of everything that the $175 advent calendar got you. Um, we're just going to pretend that this is the mascara because I somehow managed to lose it. It hasn't moved from this area and it's, it's gone somehow. It's gone. So here's everything that the $175 gets you. Not all of these things are full size, some of them are minis, so I mean, it isn't maybe the worst selection of products that we have seen, but do I feel like, you know, your $175, if you were to just buy Huda Beauty products on your own, could get you a little bit more or like a better selection of stuff? I, I do believe so. The fact that there is no eyeshadow palette this year, I don't understand why there's not an eyeshadow palette there. I feel like there's always been one in here, even though they're typically like the ones that are on sale that they put inside the advent calendar, at least it's an eyeshadow palette. It's something fun, exciting, colorful, but this is like, I don't know. I think it's just a little bit on the dull side, a little bit on the boring side. When you divide it out like this to see how much skincare is in here versus like how much makeup was in here, it's it's very much skewed. Like this side is like dipping down because it's much heavier. So all of these things here, I would count in like the skincare category, you know, the, the moisturizing wand, the primer. The, to me, that stuff is skincare. Then we have like a tool and then we have a fragrance. And then over here is the makeup that we have. And that's it. So if you're wanting this for a makeup advent calendar, I definitely would steer clear. I would just go ahead and buy some Huda Beauty on your own. Um, if you're wanting this, it's just kind of like a selection of stuff. Then maybe, I don't know. I just personally think you're going to get a better deal if you find some stuff on sale and purchase it yourself, but that's just me. I really shouldn't have written down all those numbers, how much those things cost, shouldn't I? Okay, we're just going with that. I just typed in numbers until I got something that seemed kind of close. Okay, so I believe this might be like $275 worth of product behind me right here. I mean, again, I, I, maybe it's all fantastic, but wow, that's a, that's a lot of money. I guess you are getting some value there. I think you're getting like a hundred bucks ish in value so that's that's pretty good it's just not super exciting it's a little bit boring and bland this year i mean from like the packaging itself to the products on the inside you're getting like absolutely no colored makeup if you're wanting more skincare then maybe it is a bargain for you if you use this stuff like on the regular then maybe it's a great bargain for you i don't know but uh personally this one i think is it's it's the worst out of all that i've done not advent calendars in general but like the worst out of, ah, the worst out of all the huda beauty advent calendars that i've done just because like it, it's pretty dull and it's very lackluster as far as makeup goes. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. But before you leave, be sure to stick around for an extra special unboxing here at the end.
Alright you guys, that is all I have for you all today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would be an absolute world to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye!